Good afternoon. I will now be presenting a summary of my final year project. So currently, the complex structure of neural networks consisting of numerous neurons and weights make it difficult for humans to explain the model fully. This disadvantage present in neural networks has set the stage for the interpretable fuzzy deep neural network. The EFIRNN is introduced in this paper, which is a hybrid combination of neural networks and fuzzy logic. Fuzzy logic, FL, is a logic form that resembles human reasoning by making use of linguistic variables mimicking the deduction process of humans. This feature makes fuzzy systems good at providing acceptable levels of reasoning with high interpretability. As such, the incorporation of fuzzy logic alongside deep neural networks allow a degree of explainability while maintaining the high prediction accuracy of the neural networks. The EFIRNN proposed in this paper will be applied in financial markets, specifically price prediction problems. Hence, the model is ensured to effectively handle concept drifts, which refer to changes in the input data distribution and the parameters over time. This is especially important in financial data, as market conditions and price patterns change over time. So here is a pipeline of how the project was broken down and the steps I took in terms of the model building, data processing, model testing, and various experimentation. For the Mamdani fuzzy infant system, the antecedents and consequences of the rule are all fuzzy sets, which are generated by the clustering algorithm. These fuzzy sets will be used as inputs and outputs to the neural network, the long short-term memory. The vocabulary for both systems are the same, so the prediction results from the neural network can be tagged accordingly with the fuzzy rules, thereby allowing the explainability of the LSTM. LSTM is selected as it is particularly suited for time series data and also allow it and it's able to capture long-term trends effectively, as well as mitigating the shortcomings of the traditional neural networks. So this is an overview of the data processing steps I applied to the raw data before it is input to the model. So to ensure that the, mod the LSTM can converge, the data is first scaled and normalized according to the formula here. So second, key features are extracted from the normalized price to as the inputs and outputs. So next, the clustering algorithm used to fuzzify each of the input features into the factor, vector of fuzzy membership values to act as the inputs into the LSTM. So next, sliding windows are created uh, based with the input vector and output, so we can predict up to multiple time steps ahead. Then the data is split into train, test, and validation set in order to train and test the model accurately. So this is the overall architecture of the EFIRNN. So the first layer contains the crisp value of each input feature. The second layer consists of the vectors of membership values after the crisp inputs have been fuzzified. So each one represents a membership value to a particular cluster of input feature. So the third layer consists of the LSTM network and the fuzzy rule base. So for the LSTM, uh, the number of neurons in the input and output layer corresponds to the total number of input and output clusters respectively. So for the fuzzy rule base, the first input is the same as that of the LSTM, while the second is the output from the LSTM. So these form the antecedent and consequence of the fuzzy rules respectively in the fuzzy rule base. The fourth layer consists of the fuzzy membership predictions that are output from the LSTM model, which are the vectors of membership values for all clusters across the output features. So lastly, in the final layer, the fuzzy output vectors are defuzzified to their corresponding crisp values, and each node represents an output feature. So now I'll be showing some of the prediction results of the my model. So to effectively demonstrate portfolio allocation, I've selected 12 indices across different asset classes, industry sectors, and regions globally, as shown here. So this ensures that the indices are less correlated so the portfolio can be diversified. So putting all 12 indices into the EFIRNN pipeline, the prediction results of four of them are shown here. So the r squared values indicated as shown here are uh, actually all above 0 0.95, which is the same across all 12 indices, which indicates that the predicted values are very well fitted against the actual values, and they are a reliable indication for the patterns in actual data. The difference in R 
as E values is due to the difference in absolute values of the price ranges across the different indices. So here are some visual snippets of how the predictions look against the uh, against the actual value for the t plus 7 times them models. So as seen from here, even for predicting up to t plus 7, the predicted values closely follow the trends and patterns of the actual data. I've come to the end of my presentation. Thank you.